The Dow is down over 1,700 points since Friday. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. Today I'm talking about how the Dow is down over 1,700 points since Friday. This video is being recorded in the evening of Monday, February 5th and I want to talk about a few factors that may be leading to the Dow being down so much. Let's get into it. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped by more than 1,100 points today and over 1,700 points over the past two trading days, last Friday and today being the 5th of February. Although all the fundamentals look solid, there have been a few reasons why I think stocks have plunged so much and so drastically over the past two trading days. So let's talk about a couple of these factors that I think are leading towards this cause. The first factor is rising interest rates. I think that rising interest rates are going to be a major subject to be talked about in investing over the next two or three years. And I think in 2018 alone, interest rates are gonna be raised multiple times. So the news behind this today on February 5th is that the Federal Reserve appointed a new chairman named Jerome Powell, who was officially sworn in today. I believe it was actually this morning at the time of this recording. Uh, Jerome Powell has been appointed by President Trump and he's actually served on the Board of Governors on the Federal Reserve since 2012. So he actually has some experience working within the Fed. This isn't just some you know, no name or someone coming from the private sector. People think that Mr. Powell and the Fed will eventually raise interest rates, making money quote unquote more expensive, which will ultimately slow down the economy overall. I think this may potentially take us into a bear market, but I don't think this single factor alone will do so. Which brings me to point number two, 10-year treasury bonds. So there is also a focus on the 10-year treasury bond, which hit its four-year high today as well, which is big news. The reason this is big news is because bonds are a lot more uh, stable and a lot less risky than equities, aka stocks. So when the bond yields are much higher, that's a much more appealing to investors because there's a lot less risk associated with getting that higher yield. Obviously, bond yields are never going to be as high as equity yields, but they're not going to go as they're not going to drop as drastically either. So the yields rise on, at least on the 10-year bond rate is actually close to 3%, which is actually widely believed to be a sign that investors are slowly backing out of stocks and getting into these more stable investments. So with those two factors being named, I don't think they're gonna single-handedly take us into a bear market, but let's take a little bit more of a positive outlook. So many investors believe that healthy corporate earnings justify the big stock prices that we're seeing, and with half of the S&P 500 reporting its earnings recently, more than 80% of those companies that reported their earnings are actually beating expectations. So that could be a reason why the stocks are so high. So let's take a look at this screenshot. This is from Dan Wiener, who's the chief executive of Advisor Investments. He says that he sees this decline as an opportunity given that corporate earnings are rising, interest rates remain low, and their economic indicators are actually pointing up. So a lot of people actually confirm that. And he says that even at 2.85%, the 10 years yield is simply back to where it was four years ago. It's not setting some new kind of record other than its rapid ascent. So he's referring to that 10 year bond yield that we were talking about. A few more positive notes is that many investors think that this bounce in the markets over the last week is actually part of the natural ebb and flow of stocks, which could actually be true. Um, so that whole serenity phase of the past year where nothing's really been that volatile, it's just pretty much gone straight up. Not literally hockey stick growth, but definitely linear growth. Um, we think that this ar upward arc is an anomaly, some investors were quoted saying when I was reading in the comments. So I may tend to agree with that, even though I do feel like we are in the excess phase of a bull market, um, volatility will be here to stay, I think, for the next couple of months for sure. So times will be a little bit more turmoil than what people are used to seeing, I think. So here's a quick little fun fact. The market has not had a 5% correction for more than 400 days. That's over one year, you guys. Uh, historically, corrections of 5% happen every 90 to 120 days. So a lot of investors also feel that we're simply dealing with a highly valued equity market and it's supported by strong economic data and earnings, which is true. 
So what should you do as an individual investor? So if you're a long-term investor like I am, just stay on the roller coaster and don't panic. You have to realize that the market historically has always been volatile. It's just been the last uh, nine years or so that it's kind of been almost like a linear growth pattern, which has been kind of an anomaly. So if you have a disciplined plan and an investment goal in mind before you start investing, swings like these shouldn't bother you because you know at the end of the day, markets typically return right around 11% historically. So full disclosure, I actually hold BND, which is a Vanguard ETF that's the total bond market fund. And it's actually been doing pretty well lately, so I can't complain. However, some of my equity ETFs, you know, they've definitely taken a hit over the past couple days, just like anyone else. But that's why you have a diversified portfolio. So I have a little bit of bonds, I have a little bit of equities, and I have a little bit of real estate as well. So at the end of the day, you hope that all these uh, investments offset one another and it ultimately brings you a steady return over the years. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this was more of a current event or a news uh, video, if you will, but I think it's important to note such a big correction in the markets. So thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe below if you haven't already and tell one friend about this video. And also tell them about my channel. I'm relatively new and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a prosperous day. So take a look at this screenshot from Adam Wiener. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at this screenshot from Adam Weiner. He is the chief. <laughs> Dude, I'm 12 years old. <laughs> Adam Weiner. Come check me out if you shop for butter. I got weight now, had too many blocks to cover. Other than that, don't ask me nothing about the white range. Cause it's not in your price range. Ice chains, nice games, so why rhyme? Why rhyme? I got money if I'm late, baby, buy time. Nice dimes for your fiends, you'll all be in love.